pass. And while I cry out to my century, there will be joy for man only in man's pure radiance. For man, man's proud leap toward his destiny, blazing high with the star of all men. I cry it out, I whom hair-lipped slander has placed in the last rank of beast of prey, me towards whom falsehood always aims his poison claws, me whom mediocrity pursues night and day with wild boar steps, me at whom hate often points his finger in the streets of the world, I go forward, shepherd of my revolts, I go forward with great diamond steps, I clasp to my wounded heart a faith so human that often at night it cries, awaken me as a newborn who must be given milk and songs, and at night tenderly I lull my Helen, my gentle faith, my life falls in waters of spring over her body, I lull human dignity and give it rhythm of the rains that fell in my child nights. I go forward, carrier of a faith islander and bearded troiler, for an unconquerable faith unconquered. Not a great poem on its knees before the slab of sorrow, but just a little Haitian lamp that wipes away its tears while smiling, and with one beat of its wings rises forever and ever a man as far as the ends of night and free in the green innocence of all men. Christian West, my terrible brother, here is my sign of the cross. In the name of revolt and of justice and of tenderness, amen. Amen. So tonight I'm going, oh, do you guys need the microphone? Or can you hear me? Okay, good. Um, we need less electronics in this. Um, so I'm going to be reading a piece from Rene de Pestra's A Rainbow for the Christian West. Um, Rene de Pestra is 88 years old, living in southern France. Um, lived in exile from Haiti in Cuba for many years. Um, yeah, if you don't know his work, you should. So I'm not going to give you his biography. It's out there. Go get it. Um, but just to give you a little sense of what I'm going to do, this is kind of a piece in progress. So this isn't what my final piece might look like someday, but in sort of the idea of Under the Influence, and because Under the Influence is about being influenced, I thought I would present something in progress. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read both. So this is sort of my progress and my process. Um, so if I'm holding the paper in my left hand, it's Renee's words. If I'm holding it in my right hand, it's my words. I don't know what the final mix-up may be, but it will be something, and it will always be with Renee. And if I do this right, no one will get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I hear rising in the distance the muffled clamor of a mosaic of sufferings, the rumbling symphony of the abandoned blonde, yellow, black, little matter. They are all poor, one red blood, and tears have no color and tormenting hunger is of one kind. On unsigned paths our thrashing footsteps absorb history's flickering messages, our world under the influence of science, scrying oblivion. Settle thy studies and sound the depth that thou wilt, always the long way to the anchor's regret. I will not come tonight to weave the thread of your gaze, hours of abandon, of tenderness, of love, Comrades of bronze have summoned my youth to assault of this crumbling citadel. Just give me twelve minutes of Marxism's impossible love. Our crimson shore fades with Arctic melt-off, intoxicating capitalism. The hot and healthy bachelor wields his phenomena of fire pose, the land screaming as it is consumed. I go forward barefoot in the grass of my negritude. Oh, sweet coolness under my savage stride. From now on, I know all that is dead in me. I am the collector of monsters. I also know the name of the wheat growing up through me and the name of voodoo that stirs in my body, great wings of innocence. And I love these flames of mine. Their music marks the beat of all my impulses. I go forward all naked in the tunnel of my joy to burn all that falls into my hands I am the great race of volcanoes. When Memphis burns, it will be me. When Johannesburg burns, it will be me. I am a great oil thrower over fire. Church fires, family fires, palace fires, bank fires. I will proclaim your feast at the edge of my nights. 
And the shifting foundation of shaking houses before the law keeps itself kept by a doorkeeper who keeps nothing, the door remaining open and open on to nothing. Garrett was right. Fuck you, Derrida. A vehicle for phantoms, the starlit meerkats, a massive army of loving refusals. The decadents have moved to the corner store, and there, too, a Braxis and Slurpee death postures. Under sunship sabbaths, a robbing gentrification, a.k.a. the creative economy, expanding the western threshold, wrapped in sovereign body, sacred body. We cannot live forever in a city of men, exposed to death in the camera lens. No longer living animals, our living cities will kill us all. I do not remain seated under a tree, awaiting your miracles. The little Christ who was smiling in me, last night I drowned him in alcohol. Likewise, I drowned the tablets of the law. Likewise, I drowned all of your sacred sacraments. My collection of butterflies are monsters that you loosed in my dreams. Monsters of Birmingham, monsters of Pretoria. I collect your hysterias. I collect your pale spirochetes. I devote myself to the stamp collecting of your cowardly acts. I finally feel that I am myself in my new solar geography. Me and the great joy of saying goodbye to your Ten Commandments of God, to your hypocrisies, to your bloody rites, to the brewing of your scandals. Me in this fire of my veins who has never prayed. Me in this radium of my color who has never bent the knee. Me in this royal tree of my blood who has never turned towards the west. Leaves of submission. Me in the geometry of my lions. Me in the violence of my diamond. Me in the purity of my crystal. Me in the gaiety of rekindling life. For you, volcano of my slave compound. The grinding of the rack manifest burning. Notes between worlds and incursion into capital coloring arcana. A libidinous of seductive line. Archimedean spirals, the haphazard loops of the uncoiling serpent. The inner ear a bony path to hearing Earth's weather systems, hybrid gallows, animal emblems, and the planchette, our prayer platform. The fulcrum of magical balance and spontaneous iteration in passive concentration during cyclonic flows, a chambered nautilus, river horses and slime. What are we but chaos and sound, talismanic arachnid, that no echo can be lost in the dark dream, red pulses on water, Cameron and Joan of Arc, mode raising Babylon. My gods and I are now in Omaha. Our lives are suddenly so heavy to bear that our legs hardly go forward. Here man passionately prepares the end of man. Here is the eraser that can rub out life. Nothing matters here, neither hope nor dreams. Man has given up his place to a people of monsters. They are there before our eyes, the fantastic robots. They are ready. They have good memory. They know where they must strike. They are geographers of genius. On their maps, they have set off the points of the earth where wind, love, tears, sweat, and rain promise to man's days. Eyes and treasures to repeople the world with kisses, fruits, nests, and miracles. My green gods recoil in terror. Before them stand aligned the great gods of the nuclear age, the creators of homicidal suns, Atlas, Titan, Polaris, Minutemen, Nike, Zeus, Sidewinder and hound dog, murderers of space and time, I translate for my gods the secret messages these missiles send to Earth. Down with human beings, down with stars, down with corn and wheat, down with rain and snow, down with horse and dog and dove, down with nightingale and beauty, down with desk and flowers, down with phosphorus and pencils, down with cherry and topaz, down with radar and fog, down with water, wind, and calcium, down with notebooks and chairs, down with breast and azure, down with sonnet and down with basil, down with vitamins from A to Z, down with crystal, down with wood, down with kiss and algebra, down with salt and geometry, down with north and south, down with copulation and its epics, down with apple, grape, and compass, down with pimento, down with stethoscope. Down with orgasm, moon, and sailboat. Down with Einstein and his Mozart. Down with bedsheets and smoke. Down with dew, grass, and lovers. Down with the rest, sweat, and fire. Down with table, vagina, lamp. Down with Tolstoy, sea, and hope. Down with lamb, and wine, and watch. Down with plow, ox, and furrow. Down with Homer, bridges, and health. Down with doll, postman, and lark. Down with alphabet, down with nostalgia. Down with turtle, cock, and cinema. Down with coal, and down with free verse. Down with melon, hummingbird, and thought. Down with Van Gogh, diamond, and swallow. Down with lemon, water, lily, and goodness. Down with silence, honey, and labor. Down with bed, joy, and liberty. 
down with the alpha and omega of life, tomorrow the H-bomb. Woo! Propaganda, mortal ensemble shovels, feeble extensive shrine for terror burning vanity. You for eternity recognizes you. There's hecka digging to do in human form, surviving our own skin in pursuit of being outside lack and in distortion. Projections recapped and the oil just flows on. Tin foil mass manufactured matching outfits, physiological entomology. We write to hear bells. We grow old and green, endangering absence, cushioned in dampness, wire with one ear on. Three suns lock up the vision, practical boats on partial shorelines, and in our hands, trinket machines from undersea capillaries, death by disinformation, on guard falling asleep against fossils, the record of the mind, trestles aid erosive watermarked pyramids, Luxor, a living organism shouting, nature as the text behind non-cerebral consciousness killing in a tumble of the rock with the rosebud, ripening volts in the fog, leaves of shadow nothing. Include the knower in the known Akashic record player, written in scribbles collaged inner workings, its form constant in our lumpy world of planets, Lamar, etc. Of common air, the revelations of laughter, revolting blood, cries of hasty forecast, and the final degrees of Pisces spirit grinding for a new cycle, encircling beyond and gremlin, tricky spirits bound into Plancy's dictionary and for now, a single puttering charcoal disc. The scant resin pinch, stacked poppy heads, frankincense, the brother of the rose, a slipped crown on the Saturn Camilla, read hieroglyphics in magic without tears, and then speak to mental astral doors by the tree, by the river, the radio, and the frozen pine on the hill, nightshade of Eden, opening the trunk a lid to unify, sigillated thus, in the ground on the mirror, at Sid, NVIDIA. The gods of my native village are suddenly child gods who curl up against me. They see the revolution of ashes coming, the earth disrobed by H-bombs, the outline of millions of bodies on the walls, the starving tigers from 100,000 suns throw themselves down on the world in a single stroke, and the fathers of my roots tremble. They do not know the spring or the leaf to wash the face and heart of Omaha, they who have no fear of the KKK and the other kings of cotton and oil. They who know how to tame with a look the savage dogs of wind and rain and the great leopards of thunder and fire. They who have lived many years under the sea. They, the brave, the pure, and the just green angels of the earth and the sky. Here they are at my side, robbed of power, disarmed, and conquered by these new gods. Gods of heavy water and cobalt, who have never had a childhood, who have never built sand castles. I have never wept all night without reason, while listening to the rain fall in their inner being. Oh, carriers of murderous stars, do not laugh at my agrarian gods, because they have not broken the bridges with the first salt of the earth. Man. Thanks.